Hello everyone, welcome to Gamer's Ledge. My name is Mark and you're seeing Daniel, our GM up there in the top left. Say hi to nice people, Daniel. Hey, hey everybody, how's it going? Um, just to catch you guys up, this is the Mutants and Masterminds weekly podcast based in the MCU after the snap, but as if Endgame never happened. <laughs> Um, we have a full house tonight, and, um, I believe that one of our players actually had a question. Uh, Nick, it's a new room every time. So it's going to be a new link every time. Um, uh, we're going to go through the players real quick, because it's been a little bit since we've played. Um, we'll go ahead and start with you, Mark. Uh, I am the Silver Surfer. I am a cosmic entity. I am a little bit, uh... Not so powered up, uh, a little depowered, but I'm here to save the Earth, uh, warn them about an impending scroll invasion. Awesome. Uh, Justin? Well, aren't scrolls okay, though? <clears throat> but I'm Surge. I'm a speedster. And, uh, yeah, that's about as one-dimensional as I am. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Ray? All right, I'll be playing a uh, character that's kind of a Gambit offshoot named Cadus. Kind of same ability, same martial arts. Cocky and uh, arrogant at times, but always with style. Nice. Okay, John? I will be playing Blindfold, a mutant telepath who is a mutant activist and was one of the influential figures helping to block the passing of the Mutant Registration Act. Awesome. Um, and Nick? Uh, my, na uh, my character's name is Aeon. I'm a elixir and rogue uh, kind of hybrid. I uh, am also uh, keen on not having the mutant registration uh, not pass. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Um, okay, so <clears throat> we actually did a vignette last session, um, which is just kind of an offshoot that helps tell stories that are not with these specific characters in the MCU. Um, but before that, we ended with um, you guys back at the Xavier's mansion um, watching a press conference with Congressman Kelly um, and how... While he understood that the Mutant Registration Act didn't pass, he is looking towards the future with a new security program. Um, and he unveiled these large humanoid drones um, called Sentinels as part of the Sentinel program, um, which are meant to help secure and safeguard the future of mutant and humankind. So it is currently two days before the five-year reunion, or not reunion, five-year anniversary of D18, when half the world's population disappear, uh, dis disappeared, essentially. Um, do any of you have any actions, questions, follow-ups? What happened How when we get... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> How has the Academy been taking it? Taking the the Mutant Registration Act? Or lack thereof? The lack thereof, yeah. Um, they've been mostly excited at the prospects. Um, the fact that they were really afraid that um, Xavier's Mansion, which is currently a sanctuary, under a sanctuary law, um, it would be changed so that even they would probably have to um, come forward and register and they would be out there. Um, you specifically, your character specifically, who does have another identity, it was, they, there are a couple that are like that in the organization, the academy, um, that were afraid that something was going to happen um, if they were registered. They would, their secret identities would come to light. But they'll register, that's simple. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Become enemies of the state. Um, does anybody else have any questions? Can't be an enemy of the state if you're like 
I'm the captain now. <laughs> Apparently. Warp, warp, warp. Um, what did the what was the response when we got back to the academy? Uh, mo people were extremely happy um, that uh, that you were successful. Um, you were kind of lauded as a um, diplomatic envoys because that's not usually something that one of the Xavier groups, Xavier teams, or X-Men teams are known for. They're not known for going in and kind of clearing up issues. Um, they're known for going in and fighting or taking threats down. So um, it was a different kind of admiration from, from the, the folks that are there. Um, I don't have any other questions. What about y'all? What, what, I guess, what, what's the, what's the outlook? What's, what does Xavier want us to do next is kind of more. So <clears throat> Xavier, um, wants to try to shore up the outreaches of, of the, um, academy right now because this unveiling of this new security force because it's not just the sentinels it's the sentinel program it's actually a multi-winged tactical plan um to increase security and um he, he wants to shore up the defenses to make sure that everyone from the oldest to the youngest are safe um because he has a bad feeling that this is just the beginning of something. And Are we sure he's not a mutant? Xavier? You know he's no, a mutant. Yeah. The one in charge of all of the uh, <clears throat> trying to enforce the restriction. Oh, Ke Congressman Kelly? Yeah. By the way, where's Magneto here? So, Magneto like some of the other named characters has not yet shown up in the MCU in this MCU so um, Jean Grey is not part of a team um, Scott Summers is not part of a team um, the uh, Magneto hasn't no Magneto has not made himself known yet we're, we're taking a Spider-Man approach, and we're using villains that are not the necessarily the most well-known villains. I dig it. <laughs> Great, I'm Sandman. <laughs> that one's been done. Um, I actually, it was really funny going off topic for one second because it has to do with superheroes. Today, I saw a um, one of those deep fakes <laughs> of. Tom Holland's face on Tobey Maguire's body for half of the first Spider-Man movie. The first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie. It was, it was actually kind of funny. Okay. Uh, so, are there any other questions? Nope. Doesn't sound like it. Going once. Well, so... Yes. I, you you kind of generally answered the question I was going for, but literally, what does Xavier want us to do now? <laughs> he wants you to make sure that everyone is safe, shore up the defenses. Okay. He he's Pretty being much. he's being vague on purpose because he has no idea what's coming. Right. He can't well, see the Kelly, future, Mark. Sentinels, the usual. So okay. he he wants us to make sure everyone in the. Manner is safe, right? Yes. Well, oh. it's it's more than just a manor. It's like 300 and something acres with multiple buildings and wings. It has wings now? Yeah. And they're delicious. They're also wild. 
Not too spicy. That was a perfect punctuation mark. That squeeze sound in the background mark. Okay, um, you guys are talking about um, kind of what this could mean, what the Sentinels could mean, uh, what the Sentinel program could be, because there aren't a lot of details. Um, but he also mentions, Senator Kelly or Congressman Kelly, also mentions that this is just um, part of a tour he is doing. Um, he's actually standing up a Sentinel headquarters building in every major city on the eastern seaboard. Um, and many of them have already been refurbished and installed with equipment. And this is just the announcement that they are opening. So apparently, he has been working on this for a while as a backup. Um, Raise your flippers if you have a bad feeling about this. <sighs> uh, um, funds for all that. That's a lot. Yep. I just want to say that's very efficient government there. That, <laughs> Yeah, your Not bill yet. fails, and you still do it anyways. No, no, no! Don't you understand? This is different. How it works? If no, it's a it's good different. idea and you like it, takes forever. If it's a bad idea and you hate it, done instantly. But I'm this was the fact that usually it's we announce a new department, and then it comes ten years later. This is a completely different thing that he was getting past. He was trying to get the. Mutant Registration Act passed through the Sokovian Accords, which is UN. Mm -hmm. he, this is all US, baby. So he was doing this at the same time in the background. Oh, and, joy. And was this actually a public referendum, or was this an executive order kind of deal? This was a public referendum that was stapled to the back of a watershed project. But, no, like, okay. Okay, like healthcare, my, they stick with the back. Right, but my question is: Did the American people vote on this, or was this passed in a in a vacuum? They totally had a say. I, I think what he's saying is, there was voting back in one hundred zero percent. A whole bunch of other BS where everyone just looked over it. I, I think we're having a political conversation here that I was not prepared for because it does make a difference. <laughs> it kind of does, actually. That's why I was asking. How you attack it is based on what the answer there is. How how you attack it? Right. As, as a an alien? As a player in this campaign, yes. If it was voted you you're not sure. If okay. it was voted on, it was voted on as something else tied to something else. Right. Right. So it was a non public it was you a non-public vote. Phase. You can't complain at the outcome of the, of the results of the votes. I'm, I'm not. Just saying, you didn't I'm vote. not. <laughs> yeah. Fair. It was not a very well advertised and straightforward piece. Silver, buried. The end. Silver Surfer just says, hey, look, guys. I came. I delivered my information. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> it's up to you guys now. Screw this. Why am I even asking about your stupid laws and stupid bills? No. My point was if it was a bill that was – that was presented in Congress and then tied onto another bill that is different than a public referendum in which people get to vote yay or nay. And so that's, that's all I was trying to figure out is which one it was. No, people did not vote yay or nay. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Got it. Okay. Thank you. That's all I yeah. wanted to go. Um, anyway, uh, it's about this time that um, – I can everyone give me a will save? So, bad so that's that. going to be a D20 plus your will. My number is not large. My number is only slightly better than yours. I'm sorry, I got asked a question. What's the roll for? It's a will save. A will save. Sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, my will is unshakable, so I think yeah, I might be safe. 
Is that just an adjective you added, or is that a power? It's just an adjective. <laughs> but it can be a power, sure, why not? Arrogance and cockiness is unshakable, right? <laughs> That's a good rule, Justin. I'm having a quick problem finding my character sheet, so bear with me for just a second. I got it. I just got to find it. Um, perception, right? What? No. No, we'll, we'll, we'll save. We'll save. Okay, thank you. I got it. Seven. <clears throat> after all of that, huh? Yeah, after okay. all that. <laughs> um, Ray and... Or, sorry. Cadis and Serge. Um, you feel... The edges of your mind start slipping. Uh, vision starts doubling, but you're able to kind of hold yourself together. The rest of you are like you can feel your minds like shatter momentarily, like an earthquake is happening, but only your psyche is affected. Um, and this was just as we were hanging around doing nothing. All of a sudden, that just just started. yeah, just talking to each other about what you think it means, blah blah blah, and that happens. Um, Where's Xavier? At a point. <laughs> that hurt. Uh, and, and you guys, you, the, you, the two that succeeded, um, you're still standing, everyone else, you find you wake up prone. Uh, Silver Surfer? Yes. Yeah, this was, this, this is the first time you felt something like this in years. Uh, I do a I... Quick, per quick perimeter of the estate and see what, if I notice anything out of that moment. It seems that about 90% of the students and teachers have the same effect as the rest of your team. They're getting up. Some of them have bleeding eardrums or bleeding noses. Uh, some of them threw up on themselves. But mostly it's people that just took a hit and are getting back up from the ground. Um, can I fly straight upwards and see if I can pinpoint wherever it's coming from? What are you going to use to pinpoint? Mm, that's a great question. How does this game work? I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, I'm going to use I'm going to use my sense mutant power, and mute and sense the mutant. My I'm going to actually use my cosmic senses, which is not what you wanted to hear me say, but that's what it is. I did spend points on it, so hooray! So how did this work again? Because I can't um, be talked about. Well, you see, because so, originally you wanted to use it to right, sense right. everything you, about everyone. Right. And then we, I had the tracking, basically where I could track a person, I, however you want it to work, Daniel. I don't know. I, I'm I'm not trying to be difficult. I don't care. It's it's a, the problem is it's a scary precedent. Uh, yeah. I allowed I allowed this to work, and then now you can search through from here to the moon. You can find any mutant based on the power that he uses. Like Congressman Kelly. That would be good. Let's do that. Um. No, I I uh. Can I? Give me a, you fly up. Give me a perception check. Okay, it's just a hero point, you know. You got like three of those, don't you? Oh, I I used the wrong save. I should have been plus fourteen, not plus six. I was gonna say that was really odd. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything because I wasn't sure if that's how your character sheet was written up. But I was like, if there's anybody who should succeed at this, it was blindfold. I. Hit the uh, the toughness button, and I was like, I don't think that was quite right. And then it took me this amount of time to find where my actual character sheet is. I mean, just ba basically, I'm looking for the source of the power. So, so I, if I, the higher up you go, you yeah. see people that were walking on the grounds that are just now climbing back up and standing up and helping each other. And it seems that they are surrounding 
the um, like the epicenter is near the back of the mansion so everything is in a circle around the out around the back of the mansion and it does, does it any extend... of the wildlife seem disturbed i didn't hear either of you did any of the wildlife seem disturbed sure yeah animals and trees i mean like was there a cone of like like push down effect of no. trees or flowers it, nothing to that effect just, the animals th or the white things people. things with mines D does this do, do Sorry, I see vic victims you, you outside okay. outside the ground yes. okay so the people outside of a specific radius of maybe half a mile um seem fine like they don't even notice it um, but everything within that radius seems to have either taken the hit or taken a lighter form of the hit. Well, can I head directly towards the inner epicenter then? Yeah. So, um, you guys stand up, you see Surfer look to the sky, fly in a surfboard straight up, and then fly straight back towards the mansion. I, uh, move the follow. Okay. I say, where do you take off in a hurry? I am going to attempt <laughs> to see to anyone who has injured themselves in the local area. People falling over. Somebody might have hit their head or something. Yeah, some there are some people that definitely got the worst worst end of the stick, um, bleeding more profusely. Um, there's a couple people that are straight up out of it, like unconscious. Unconscious. Uh, I'm I'm going to try to help the people that are unconscious, especially see if I can rouse them back to consciousness. Okay. Uh, Meanwhile, I am looking for some aspirin. My head. <laughs> hey, you. Do you have aspirin? No. <laughs> hey, you. Do you have aspirin? No. <laughs> Get yourself Pretty much. Together. I'm going to find that little infirmary and. Uh, Get some aspirin because this headache is not cool. <laughs> you start making your way back. You see, there's a lot of people that got hit significantly worse than you did, Cadis. Um, but you're able to make your your way back to the fairly sizable infirmary because you know accidents happen. Um, okay, uh, Aeon and Surfer. Um, you make your way back to one of the many sunrooms on the back of the <clears throat> on the back of the mansion. It's a fairly large room with lots of open windows, or sorry, lots of large windows. Um, it looks like this room there was a class going on. Um, about fifteen to twenty students are laying comatose, um, sprawled out, as well as the teacher. Um, around a young boy around 11 or 12 um, who is in a fetal position rocking back and forth in the middle of the floor. Uh, I'm going to kind of check the people to see that they're still breathing and I will say, hey there, it's okay. What's your name? As I'm kind of moving to check all the people nearby. How, what are you doing when you when you say that? Um. Well, this again kind of comes into the question of what do you want my senses to be able to do? If I'm this close, should I be able to determine if they have if they have life energies still or? Oh, the people on the ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they they are alive, but it's like someone put a hiccup in their neural activity. Okay. So, yeah. So then I don't need to attend to them for the moment because I assume that this boy is the cause of that. Yeah. So I will basically very slowly float down on my surfboard, and then jump off it and you know, hold it in my arm next to me and I will stay about 10 feet away from the boy and see if I can get his eye, wave to him, talk to him, see if he starts responding at all. So 
as you walk up to him, he, he scoots back, like, skitters across the floor. Mm -hmm. Not skitters, that's the wrong word. But he scoots very quickly across the floor, away from you. Um, you can see that um, one of his eyes and the skin around one of his eyes is burnt. Like, he has a cataract, but it's, it's like, burnt around the eye. Um, and he's still hugging himself closely as he is now pushing himself against the wall. Don't, don't touch me. I'm I'm not gonna touch you. What what's your name? They call me Buffer. Hi Buffer, I'm I'm Surfer. It's nice to meet you. Can you tell me what happened? They he he wanted me to get on the net. Who wanted you to get on the net? He raises a shaky finger and points to the instructor, um, who you know as LeBuff. Um, he's a Frenchman that is one of the teachers that teaches um, physiology and psychology. Body, body science. Okay, he wanted you to get on the net. What happened when you got on the net? Sometimes, when I connect, I see things, and if they're bad enough, I can't help but share it. it I see. Uh, I, I've had that happen to me, too, actually. Um, have you ever had something happen like this before? No, no, it it was never this bad. Something bad's gonna happen. Okay. So, uh, out of character, sorry to interrupt. Point. So, out of character, did we see any uh, vision or anything from this? No, it was just a blinding, shattering pain. Thanks. Go ahead, Mark. Your post game comes I'm assuming Aeon was there as well, right? Like he he came in the room as well. Yes. Oh, I mean, it's up to him. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Hey, on, do you think there's something we might be able to do for the rest of Buffer's friends here? Um, the, I'll check them to see. Are they? Are they breathing? Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, they they might just need rest. From, from this shot, but we can we can definitely give them aid. It looks like something has interrupted their neural firing. Well, let's see if we can get get it going again. Buffer, have you affected other people like this before? Nothing like this. Okay. Don't worry. You didn't mean to do this. It's not your fault. No one's blaming you. We're just going to see if we can help fix it, okay? He nods emphatically. Okay. Now, do you mind if I call some of my friends and, and we can get some folks to help you too? He looks at you strangely, and then he'll nod slowly. Um, so is, is he injured at all? Uh, other than his scar, no. Your eye. What I, scar I, again? I see that it's kind of burnt around it. Is that normal? Y yes. Okay. Did you have a Did you have a question, John? Uh, I was asking for the details of the scar again. Oh, it's so. Um, well, now that I think about it, uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. The scar that um, I think Kozu, Kozu has or whatever, where Zuko. it's like a Zuko, yeah, where it's burnt across, ex except he, al he also has a cataract and it's burnt across. He's a wee Scottish cyclops. <laughs> His name's Buffer, right? His name is Buffer, yeah. Hey, Buffer, um, can I take a little bit of your energy to help the others? You understand how my powers work? 
It won't hurt you. You'll, you'll feel a little weak, but you'll recover perfectly. I, I, I've already done so much harm. And you won't do any harm. Your, your energy will help you heal the, the rest of it. He's he's telling the truth. I need to take energy from something to heal people. <laughs> the, the the irony is you're asking for energy from a scared twelve year old kid instead of the giant silver alien next to you. Yeah, and and I'll say here, watch. He, <laughs> he can have some from me, but he'll need a little more, and that's why he's asking. That. And I'll I'll let. Well, I'm mainly asking permission because you know I, I was basically going to take enough where he'd pass out and I'd be able to heal everybody. So he was no longer a, uh, a trouble. I, I, I didn't have to ask, kid. <laughs> but, but I am. Because <laughs> he's afraid. So I want to make sure that he was okay with it. Because, you know. You, you can like, tell oh. the thought really makes him uncomfortable. Like, he doesn't understand how your powers work, for one. But for two, he doesn't want something that he is attached to to hurt anybody else again. That's why even as you guys are walking through the room, he's scooting as far back into a corner as he can. So, so take take what you need from me, Aeon. Uh, okay. So you're willing then? So I don't sure. have to make a roll? No. All right, then, then I'll... Uh, Just don't knock okay. me unconscious because I need... I can heal also, by the way. <laughs> it won't... It won't hurt you. It won't hurt anyone. Womp, and then the giant alien drops. Womp. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more like I touch you and you just fall. No, no, no. That, that'd be bad. Um, Clutching his arm. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, I think this is the the way uh, weekend works because it's weekend ten. Um, I understand how to do the roll, but I've never had to do it on like a, a willing person, and so I, I wasn't sure how much that would actually take from your character. I think you still make the roll as per usual. Well, because that that's like the hit him and to actually take it. If he's willing, I figure I'd just oh, take it. You know what? Sure how- it's, wait, it's an automatic hit if they're willing. Wait, wait. Before you do that, let me let me try to heal everyone sure. because I can I can hit like an area effect thirty in radius. So uh, roll one d ten. So we'll say that um, one through nine does not. Ten through twenty does. Okay, so there you go. All right, so then barely, barely. Uh, it says DC twenty in a thirty foot radius sphere, energizing. That gets rid of fatigue. Yeah, I'll count that. Um, people start to come to. You. Okay, and then. Um, as people start to come to, I, 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 you know, I wave to people. I still got my board in my hand, so I don't look imposing. Just like uh, there's a guy with a surfboard who's silver standing here, and I, I, I wave to them. And I, and as each one of them, I say, "Hey, what's your name? You're okay? Do you feel okay? You know, how are you doing? Just kind of." Many of them are there. looking over at Buffer with um, scared looks on their faces. Um, The teacher is kind of helping people stand up and moving them out of the room and telling them they need to go to the infirmary and head out. Um, But he is staying behind. Um, The I'm going to jump to Cadis. Cadis, you arrive at the infirmary and you can see that it is overly packed. Like, there is about 30 beds and about 90 people right now. I'm say I see like the uh, anyone who would be considered the nurse or the doc 
There's cost. there's several, um, and they're running around. There's a, the Xavier actually has two healers on staff, not counting the PCs, and they're both running around checking on people. One of them is scanning through people to make sure there's no broken bones or internal bleeding, that kind of stuff. Um, and then they're they're working. So I walk up to the first one I see, like, hey, I need a couple, I need some aspirin, and then let me know what I can do to help out. Um, we'll say she, an older woman in her, well, it, her mid-60s, um, she looks, she looks back up at you, because she was looking over at one of the people, and she scans you with her eyes really fast, and puts her hand on your shoulder, and you feel significantly better um and she says help help them and she's pointing to the people that are like struggling to come in i'll go over and start uh, ushering them in and uh since you're doing some uh, moderate triage the process to looking for those who seem to be more worse for wear and then those that aren't like as severely i'm just telling them to man up or woman up and walk over to a corner aisle area <laughs> and then someone will be with them shortly. Your bedside manner is so great. I'm um, pretty sure that's a lie. <laughs> blindfold and surge. What were you doing? You sir uh, blindfold you were helping people like helping people get up and kind of trying to bring some unconscious people around. Um, mm -hmm. and you're you're doing a good uh, job of that. Especially people who are uh, unconscious and non-responsive. I'm trying to do telepathy triage, and if they are stuck in their own head in some way, to to help pull them out of it, back towards consciousness. Okay. If a if a gentle kind of come on, it's this way. We can get you there. Is, is not working and they're still trapped in their own head, I'm not going to try to force them because I am not trained for that. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're able to wake most of the people up that you're finding like that. Um, it, it did a number on them. Some of them, uh, most of them are bouncing back just like you guys did. Uh, there are a couple and you're able to kind of get people together to help take those people to the infirmary. And, and usually that's with the help of Surge, who is currently running around at Mach 350. Gently bracing the neck. <laughs> As I run straight into a wall. <laughs> don't worry, I'll face through it. Will I? I don't know. <laughs> Do you like jam? You're about to find out. <laughs> this is the problem of being somebody who can run super fast, but with normal reflexes. <laughs> you miss time how long you need to walk forward, and you just go slam and slap your whole body into the wall. Uh, okay. Um, so you guys are really helping with the uh, triage situation and making sure people, injured people are getting where they need to go. Um, Aeon and Surfer. Um, at this point, um, LaBeouf and Johnny LaBeouf and, uh, you guys are in the room by yourselves with Buffer. Buffer is now sitting it at one of the desks. Good. Um, but he still is attempting to stay at least five feet away from all y'all. Well, um... I got a question to the teacher. What was that? I got a question to the teacher. Instructor. Okay. So what were you trying to have him do? So I, I do not have a French accent. I'm not even going to try. But this guy has oh, a really wow. heavy... This guy really has a really heavy French accent. Oh, oh, oh mon ami. Oh, 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 stinky cheese. Oh, 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 oh. I was attempting to perform Ratatouille. <laughs> wow, now that you've all insulted France, uh, have a little fun. <laughs> Don't forget to twirl your like mustache. Can... That's crazy. That's usually your job. I wasn't going to do it, but Nick made me. Nick made me. 
It's not like we can insult France any more than the French. <laughs> true. The oh, that is so not true. We can definitely do better. They the came up with the, with the best stuff, okay? French baguettes, French kissing, French fries. That's all they need. Now let's move on. Surrender, giving up, um, the, just wanting it to happen. I said you, let's move on. The views expressed on this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of Gamers Ledge, its staff, or any of its employees. Yes. Gamers Edge. Gamers Edge. dot com. Four out of five white flags. <laughs> Why do they have to be white? Hi, families at home. <laughs> you were saying you're interviewing the Frenchman. Uh, yeah. So uh, I was saying, uh, what, what were you actually trying to have him do? And has he demonstrated any uh, of his abilities before? He has actually. Um, it's he. He kind of he doesn't pull you aside, but he like indicates with his hands to move a little bit further away. He says, um, "Tim has never shown a problem with controlling his power before, and it definitely has never shown anything like this. It's a pretty passive power." We've been this in this class. All of my students have more of your background variety. Not very aggressive powers. Not really um, powers that wouldn't put you in a lineup to defend anyone. And we try to get the these students comfortable with themselves, comfortable with their powers. This this was odd. This was strange. So you're I saying that he's experiencing a new power surge? Uh, I take one of the desks and I set it up like about like 10 feet away from Buffer and I sit in it and I take my surfboard and I put the surfboard so that it's like, you know, hovering on nothing. And then I push it over to him. <laughs> he um, scrambles away from it. Wait, at really? First, oh, okay. At first, um, because it's hovering on nothing, and then once it's because it stops like right yeah. near him, yeah. he'll gingerly touch it and see that it's flat as a navigatoring. Yeah, and, I, I and make, he'll, I he'll push clothes. it. Yeah, he'll he'll push it back to you, and he, you mm-hmm. see the faintest like. You can barely even register there was a change, but a tiny bit of a smirk. We're, we're just going to do that for a while. Okay. Go ahead, Nick. Sorry, go ahead. So I, I realize that he's never shown this kind of power, but what, what exactly was he looking for on the net that caused such a feedback, if you will? So, Tim's powers, um, he can see transmission. He can see um, wireless information that's traveling between devices. He can access the internet as a full stream. He can access um, really anything that has a Wi-Fi signal or broadband, um, anything that's out there, television signals, phone signals. We've been trying to have him, pardon the pun, but increase his his bandwidth. Um, And right before this happened, he said that he was finding terrorist information. Um, And he was trying to pull together information surrounding it when this happened. Um, I don't know if it was some kind of feedback... But that's what it felt like to me. So me as well. Uh, so where, where's the data that you collect? Like? Do you just still have access to it? Or do you put it on like a laptop that we can see? What? So you said he gathered all this information. Did he, did he gather in like, in like a laptop so the whole class can see it? 
No, he just sees it. it is there any way for him to allow us to see it or to give us information verbally? I mean, he he could probably tell you, but he's, I mean, he just came to us two weeks ago. He barely understands what he's capable of. Most of what we've been able to piece together is hearsay from what happened to him before we got him. All right. Well, I, I think we should definitely not uh, try this again in the near future due to the fact that we're kind of in uh, death on two right now with what's going on go uh, politically. Well, and that's the problem. The problem is we have a lot going on right now, and any kind of terrorist actions could be bad for everyone. Get, talk amongst yourselves, give me like 30 seconds. So, Ian, I'll, I'll get your, as you see me, like, obviously keeping the boy entertained. I'll uh, I'll motion to you and say, you want to get Xavier? Hit my comm and uh, to uh, see if I can get uh, Xavier on comms. Well, <laughs> what one's Xavier? Yeah, Xavier is currently occupied for twenty five seconds or so. Yeah. Uh. Blindfold is going to be like, God damn it, like, he's just a kid. Don't try to press him for information. He's just a kid, and he's been through something traumatic. Mm, I was actually thinking he could probably help him. I was actually thinking Xavier could help calm him down. I wasn't necessarily going for information. Oh, I was so going for information. That, yeah, we'll, we'll it, let... it's Aeon that's getting the message. <laughs> it's Aeon that's getting the... He's a kid for crying out loud. We'll, we'll let Xavier figure out what he wants to do. I just exactly. Keep uh, I'm going. off for whatever Xavier play is. You know, but if there's a direct threat to this manor, I definitely would rather know about it than be surprised. And if one child is somewhat uncomfortable, that's a price I'm willing to pay. Well, just make sure to ask him if he's autistic and if his, name, and if his real name is Gary first. Otherwise, you know, he might go a little crazy on you. He's not autistic. His name's not named Gary. Uh, so I tried to get Xavier on the comms. Uh, he is not answering. I, I look on my uh, phone to see if I can get my Xavier tracker on. You don't. In this case, X does not mark the spot. But G and Blindfold, who could probably uh, do that telepathically, is not gonna. <laughs> but I, 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 I go to comms and say, hey, does anyone know where Xavier is at? What were you saying, Serge? Okay. Um, I, I said that. I uh, I go on the comms and say, does anyone know where Xavier is at? Since he's no, not I think on. everybody's been asking for Xavier on the comms since this happened. There are many that probably assumed that this was him. I did. I guess no one on the comms replies. Well, you switch over to the emergency number or whatever, and you see that it's blasting, just like Blindfold said. There's, or just like everyone said, there's a, there's information, like people talking, people coordinating, triage, all that stuff. So the next step of what I'm going to do is after we push it back and forth for a while, I will say, have you ever ridden a surfboard? So I go and I, I move from the desk and I sit side saddle on the surfboard and then I I kick it I kick off the desk so that I float slowly over towards him and then I stop you know the tip of the board stops near him and I motion 
Want to give it a go? He looks apprehensive, um, but slowly climbs on top of his desk and then climbs onto the surfboard. You can tell he's afraid that it's going to drop at any second. <laughs> it's not going to drop. That would hurt me. He allows you to ride his board? He doesn't allow anyone to ride that. <laughs> There's a hint, hint of a grin. No. No, I don't want to I don't want to do anything you don't want to do. So you tell me when you want to get off. But do you want to go a little bit? I'm not a total bad guy. <laughs> really got to make it sound creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I mean, at least I'm not wearing a freaking trench coat. I'm just trying to get a visual of this a uh, dude, silverish, and asking if would you like a ride on my board? You can get off when you want to. I don't want this to be weird. I didn't say All that second. Giggity, giggity 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 the entire time. Wow. And, wow. you know, this could be a family kind of... He he thing. nods, Mark. He nods. Okay. Under the whole family. Uh, so, so I'm going to hop off the board, and then I'm going to let him... I say, I say, you can either sit right there, sit right there. or you can stand, up. You can stand up. Either way, I'm going to make either sure way, that I'm the board sure doesn't let you fall. Let you fall. And, and I'll let him, I'll let him drive him. it very slowly. And not more than, you know, it's already only like three feet off the ground. So <laughs> if there's yeah, open he, open windows or whatever, he can, yeah. He's going to just, yeah, just sit on the, on, the, on the board. Okay. Okay. Then I just tell him, <laughs> think, <laughs> think where you want him to, think, think where you want it to go. You can, it, it, it goes it back, goes and, back forth and forth really slowly yeah, at first. Um, okay, I'm gonna jump over real quick. All right, so what is what are Surge, Cadis, and Blindfold doing now? Uh, Blindfold is trying to stop Aeon, I think. Is so are, yeah. So are you coming over to the mansion? Back to the room. Oh yes. Um, yes. Uh, sorry, I I thought I was. They're doing more uh, of the medical So work. now the classroom that they're in, there's the only people in there are Buffer, the teacher, Aeon, and Surfer. And you, if you'd like. Um, okay. Uh, no problem. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, now no, that I know like, you're in this room. Like I was saying earlier, when, when, when Aeon is like, oh, it's pumping for information. It's like, no, that's a child who's been through something dramatic. Give him a break. Okay. <laughs> awesome. And what that's basically what Blindfold's going to be doing when 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 Aeon is like, I'm I'm going to further traumatize this kid. Be like, no, we are not <laughs> going to do that. I don't think that was. I'm hoping that wasn't in character. I think that I think Nick was meaning that out of character. I mean, yes, I I, I am uh, summing wait, wait. up, not word for word. The, the one where I wanted to press the kid for information. Yeah. Completely out of character. <laughs> All, right, All right, Serge. So, still helping the triage, and I'm trying to take the last known locations of Xavier and try to track down what I can where he might be. So um, anybody who's seen him, I try to check out the leads. So uh, I'm sure you meet it's up at like the three main places, which are his main office, his quarters, um, and then running around. Um, he is... Uh, give me a perception check when you get to his office. You are moving so quickly that you um, run. You're running right. You're trying to find him in so many places at once. 
I'm pretty uh, sure I'm not even in his office, but maybe I am. <laughs> you're pretty sure, but that it was his office. You yeah, it's fully office. Although it's really times. super rude of them to put all those brooms in that office. I mean, <laughs> I know he's not there that often, but jeez. <laughs> Uh, you are unable to find him. I relay the team that, you know, if they have any leads where he might be, to let me know. <laughs> and then... No. Okay. Um... One second. I'm also going to try reaching and looking for uh, public emergency comm lines to see how far potentially the uh, radius was. He's not. He's huh. not on. Also, you might want to go check Cerebro. He might be down there plugged into Cerebro. And if there was a feedback okay. loop, if there was a feedback loop that big... He might be KO'd in Cerebro. I totally do that once yeah. RGM gets back. <laughs> so give me a perception check. And after hearing, I should go check out Cerebro. Better. Thank you. You understood what You're I was welcome. saying, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, you um, run into Cerebro, and you find Xavier's chair, and it is slightly burnt, and there's a burn mark around his chair, like, ex very uniform around his chair. Um, guys, it looks like Xavier might have gone poof. Come meet me in Cerebro's What do you mean poof? Area. And on my way. Is this telepathy or is this calm? Calm. Team calm. Private space team calm one line one. <clears throat> I'm assuming the way I've been talking to him the whole time already. Cool. Um, <clears throat> so actions. I hit um, towards Cerebro. At the point where he's like, uh, I think Xavier may be down. This is where I'm going to do a telepathic scan for Professor X. Um, would that be, is that a perception check? Do you have a power that something like that? Um, like a mind scan or a life scan? Or would it just be perception and we make the assumption you're using telepathy? Well, I have ast astral projection. Okay. Do you want to use astral projection to find, try to find his telepathic projection? Mm -hmm. to, to try to try to find his mind. And since my body goes defenseless and immobile, I'm going to set myself off in the corner and just like. Well, <laughs> actually, as he as he moves to go to the corner, I'm like, "Are you about to do something drastic?" <laughs> Uh, I move to the corner, sit down, and be like, "Hang on, I'm gonna go searching for it, for the professor." Why? Why don't you? Why don't you sit next to Buffer on the board? So if I need to move you, we can. If that's okay with you, Buffer. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, but my body goes super limp, so probably the best way to do this is gonna be. I'm just gonna go. 
Are we my belly crazy? across? Is nobody doing crazy? Great. Great. Is nobody doing what? Phrasing. Uh, are we not still doing phrasing? I don't know what that means. Yeah, what do you mean by phrasing? Um, you have to know how to handle the bow and arrow to, to get that reference. Moving on. Okay. Yeah, you, ha you have to be an archer. So uh, you're sitting on you're sitting on the on the board. I mean, probably not sitting because I'll probably fall off if I sit. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna, and since I'm sharing the board with the kid, I can't lay back on it comfortably. I'm gonna lay my stomach across it. <laughs> and very ungainly, very undignified, very. This looks awkward, and astral project. Okay. Um, so life drops out of you, and <laughs> Buffer drops off the board and says, "Oh God, I did it again!" <laughs> no, no, no. He he's he was gonna. I knew he was gonna do that. That's why I wanted him on the board. I mean, I did I did say it out loud, and that you were gonna like, drop laid again. myself on it, and then went. <laughs> Um, <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, so you, your form slips from, your astral form slips from your physical form, and you begin to hover and see diff the, the auras of people instead of just people. Um, and as you s float through the areas, and you would recognize Professor X's, Professor X's aura because you've never actually seen him, seen him. Like, with your eyes, because you don't have eyes. Um, mm -hmm. But you, you've you seen his aura more than you've seen him as a person. Uh, his touch, his psychic touch, is all over the place. But his psyche is not. I'm going to spend a lot of time searching around, especially around where his chair is. And you can narrate other people while I'm doing okay. my searching. Okay. All right. Um, Serge, what are you doing while it's being actually checked? Uh, Aeon, you're on your way over to Cerebro Hades. I'm going to gather uh, the most senior teachers that I can find. And um, anybody who's good at uh, detecting disasters or who can help... Um, if we have anybody using a hero power, I, uh, for hero point, I gather a couple of teachers whose key special um, abilities is to recreate um, points of trauma or disaster. I, I don't understand. Somebody Point who can basically disaster. police replay, you know, Pokemon to Pikachu, like kind of rebuild the scene of what happened here. Like in the There's division, the he wants to use the the existing data uh, from cell phones and stuff to to figure out what happened in Cerebro. Well, I mean, I would imagine there's cameras in Cerebro, but maybe who knows? I'll imagine I figured it. There's in the Cerebro. Cerebro. <laughs> that's that's Professor X's molestalium. He doesn't want cameras in there. Did you say molestalium? <laughs> yeah, that's um, sure, Dan. He's looking for vibe. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, all right. Popsicles? <laughs> nice. Uh, um, psychokinetic, right? Is that what it is? Psychometry? I didn't do well with that in school. So I don't Being know. able to be in a place and getting visions of the inside that place. Um, Sounds right. You find Bye. one teacher who has that capability um, and... They uh, they come at once. Obviously, they show up at once um, and meet the rest of you there. Cadis, uh, what were you doing? Uh, so pretty much, uh, once the call came out that Xavier went poof, I pretty much tell the nurses that uh, the guy from here and pretty much gather up anyone who could possibly anyone who can fight. 
and start running them up and getting like a little security detail going just in case anything else decides to come about. So I like that. Xavier's out of town, be... so so Cadis is gonna start a fight club. <laughs> so just getting uh getting those that have the ability to fight and that aren't, you know, still stir crazy or down for the count. Okay. Um, you find a handful. Uh, most people are in not good. Most people that end up going to the infirmary are not in great shape. That's good. The fewer, the better. Um, and you make your way towards Cerebro. Uh, initially, and then from there, kind of spreading out and kind of doing a search and making sure that. Their position along areas where people are still essentially leaving to by the infirmary to kind of keep guard of the wounded and so now to other sensitive areas. Got a security okay. chat. Right. Um, you guys make your way through the complex and start doing that. Um, you see the same thing I mentioned to Serge earlier. Um, there is a uh, Professor Grace's wheelchair which looks relatively charred not completely burnt but burned um and then a circle around his chair that is also burned um that's what all of you see that makes your way over to cerebro sounds good um okay uh buffer thanks you silver surfer mm -hmm. um as he lowers the the Surfboard back to the ground, yep. um, and passes well, my, control back to you. Yeah, well, not to the way. ground, yeah. not to the ground, low enough that he can get it off safely. Right. Because there's a guy slumped over the back. Correct. Um, and uh, yeah, so he he uh, thanks you. So I I actually said something in the chat that I was going to say to him. I just didn't want to interrupt yep. anybody. Okay. No, I read it. Yep. Okay, good deal. So I'll stay yep. with him unless somebody calls with. I, I just say keep me updated over the comms as to what you find about. And then I could attempt to search for Professor X myself if you wanted me to, or you know, I don't care. Whatever. I'm staying with the kid. So. I think he's talking to you guys because he's not talking to me. No, I am talking it's not to you. I don't care if you search for him or not. <laughs> can it? Can I? Can I sense him? What's your range? Uh, like, it was really far. Like, it doesn't matter what your range is. <laughs> okay, rock. Um, <laughs> it, we said it was something like thirteen thousand miles. Yeah, you don't sense him. Okay. So yeah, I'll stay. <laughs> we'll stick with the kid and see what they come back with. All right. Um, uh, after a little bit of sitting, he starts to cry a little bit and says, but he, they're going to kill him. They're going to kill him. Who, who and I'm going to jump back to you guys mm -hmm. at Cerebro. <laughs> um, you roll me a perception check, please. Oh, Serge, you're really back and forth, man. I see the things. <laughs> yeah, no crap. Um, and then a perception check for you, please, blindfold. But he's blind. He's in the astral plane. He sees things you don't. Plus 10 is going to be 19. Okay. Um... Uh, that, coupled with what I'm going to describe next, um, you guys note that while the chair is burned, while the area around the chair is burned, there is no other 
blanket, article of clothing, flesh, blood, anything. It's just that chair and the area around the chair. Um, you also note that scuffing, the burn that's on the ground, it's literally just a... Uh, like blast residue it doesn't it, it didn't damage the floor it comes off really really easy so it may not even be from a blast it's not even really a burn it doesn't look like um the one teacher that i mentioned Serge, that you went and found and brought back um they sit on the floor right across from the wheelchair and close your eyes, and you can see like this orangish glow emanating from them. Um, blindfold, as you hover in the room, <clears throat> the person who came in and sat down, there uh, it's a smallish woman, but her aura is huge, like for a much much bigger person. Um, you you expect if you were judging somebody based solely on their aura, you expect this to be like a larger monk, somebody who is practiced and exercised that part of their soul. Um, and uh, she puts her hand up in front of her, and the orange energy flows from her and starts to recreate the scene. From when Xavier rolled into Cerebro. Um, he rolls in. Puts the helmet on. And you can see him concentrating on something. And his lips are moving. But you can't hear anything that he's saying. Um, and then. There's like a shock. And he. Scratches. Scratches the helmet off of his head. And he's like. Kind of a little bit collapsed over in his chair. And rolls back a little bit from Cerebro. And there's a blinding white flash of light. That seems to appear above, below, and on either side of him. In like a pillar. And then when it, the light goes away. There's like an after effect. You know when you look at the sun. Um, but it resolves to the chair being there by itself. So someone took him, <clears throat> or he thought so hard he, <laughs> he, he he thought so hard that uh, he um, Yellow Brick wrote it himself. I'm trying to think of a, a movie. So so is this the start of the rapture? <laughs> I'm gonna come Every back to my happening. body, sit up, and say spontaneous human combustion. <laughs> so that's what you hear and see, Silver Surfer. <laughs> Are you alright, Blindfold? I mean, are any of us? Mm, I think so. Oh, any of us what? You are an optimist, my friend. So... Aeon, Silver Surfer, and Buffer are in the classroom. The rest of you... No, Aeon, Aeon went to Cerebro. No, Aeon's oh, astral didn't? form went to... Went to no, Blindfold. Oh, Aeon, right, sorry. Blindfold, Silver Surfer, and Buffer are in the classroom. Aeon and the rest, except for maybe Cadis, are in um, Cerebro. Cadis said he was going to be taking some of the guards and making sure that the mansion and area are safe, correct? Okay, this that is correct. So I'm making the right. rounds essentially positioning everyone that you find at key locations and then once that's satisfied then I'll join the other ones over at Surrey or where they end up being at that time. Okay. But you guys are talking over comms, right? Yep. You can right. update. Well, I'm going to update Tom where everyone is as I'm doing it. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I can only assume that everyone else is doing the same. So once uh, Blindfold is calmed down, I say, they're going to kill who, Buffer? What did you see? I, it was 
text chains and email chains. They're making plans to kill the congressman. Who's making plans? I wasn't sure. I, I got out of there too fast. But you're talking about Senator Kelly. Yeah. Uh, he thinks about it for a second. I, I think so, yeah. Okay. I've never actually seen a picture of him. But I think that's who they were talking about. Um... Didn't, am, am I insane? I'm having to look back at my notes. Didn't they have some kind of conversation device that we could talk to Shuri? Yes. Okay. It, it's um, like a, it's like a, a holographic. Right. It, it's essentially from, spoiler alert, I guess, from Endgame, that piece of glass right. that allows you to project a hologram. Oh, so the thing from Back to the Future, no, not Back to the Future, uh, the Time Machine movie. Yeah. In the library. Yeah. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Yes. That. Um, can can I use that to contact Shuri, then? Sure. You mean the movie The Time Machine? Yes. I would like to tell Shuri... Um, Hello, I apologize for contacting you, but I thought this might be the fastest way to get the information. We have credible information to believe that an attempt will be made on Senator Kelly's life, and I do not believe that he would want to find out from the mutants, so I thought perhaps <laughs> you would be able to do something on your side. Um, hey, uh, BT Dubs, Charlie Xavier is missing? No. You're not there, thank goodness. So we don't say that. <laughs> um, she says, you're right. It would probably not be best coming from you and your group. Um, thank you. Do you know um, from who or in what instance or a time frame? We have a mutant boy who is able to um, filter and buffer data from the net and... Um, it seems to be soon, but I don't have an exact time frame rather than I think it would be good to have the senator's entourage be on high alert. Let's hook him up to Cerebro. <laughs> and everyone on the earth dies. He absorbs so much information and forces it into all of your brains. Well, he was inevitable. All right. Uh, nice. Um, all right. Uh, <clears throat> she thanks you and says, please forward any information you have along the chain. That would be very helpful. What is the chain? The Sorry. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> You're, I'm surprised that you would share this information. Not everybody, I think, from your group would. Well, some of us are smarter. Does she I, mean me? I would. I believe Xavier would want us to. All life is important. That is very true. He says while well, eating a burger made from living plants and animals. On second thought, no. No, I wouldn't have. All right. Um, she thanks you and asks if there's any more information. No, thank and then you. assuming that there's not, she drops off the line. I did not expect that. Um, uh, okay. Um, as you were... I'm assuming you took the kid with you when you went to make the phone call. No, he's right there next or, to me. I, mean, I didn't go anywhere. I'm still in well, the classroom. A, it's it's a device. Oh, it's oh, a, oh, oh, okay, yes. I would have taken yeah. him with me then. It's a device that you guys installed someplace. Sorry, I misunderstood. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. 
Uh, in the conference room on uh, number 14? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You set up a VTC. You're welcome. Uh, uh, as you are doing that, <clears throat> you note that... Yeah, uh, you... And blind... Well, blindfold? I don't think you'd notice, actually. Did we talk about you being able to notice surface details of stuff? Well, if it's texture, yes. If it's pigmentation, no. Okay, give me a perception check. Ah, you fail! Oh, I'm sorry. He's blind. My bad. <laughs> oh! I actually do really well. <laughs> yeah, you do. So, you notice um, that you don't notice the physical representations, but you do note that about halfway through Silver Surfer's video telephone call, um, that Tim, or Buffer, his body went kind of rigid, and his hair starts standing up on end, um, and you can yeah, hear him, really that. and you can hear him kind of whispering to himself. Yeah, that, that stuff. You didn't notice that his other eye clouded over, or that his his uh, like body and hands started turning a little bit darker, shades of red. You didn't notice that. Yeah, that I wouldn't notice. Yeah, but like, uh, yeah, the hair standing up, I could I could notice that for sure. Yeah. Um. And you hear him whispering, and um, we'll say it gets louder. Uh, awesome. It's like um, whispering under his breath. Uh, oh, nice. <laughs> Uh, Cersei, the mountain <laughs> exactly. the hound. Right, see. <laughs> uh, um, okay, so he's whispering to himself, and then all of a sudden, um, he the whispering becomes a normal talking voice, and the talking voice becomes a shout. Um, and he, one, his right hand shoots over, like... Automatica Controlica or whatever, um, when ghosts write, and he touches a panel that is one of the, the computers that are installed in the desks, and you guys can see feeds showing up on the in the classroom, like across all of the panels. Not me. I I can't see what's on the. Panels. Sorry, you can't see what's in the panels. <laughs> um, it, it is. Have I been here long enough? Is there like a voice activated computer? Like the danger room? Yeah. Yes. Then I say danger room record or whatever. Required. Okay, give me one second. Saints beat the Patriots by five. 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 Is that... Is that a good thing? I don't know. Wait, 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 wait a minute. They're still playing football right now? No. What time is it? <laughs> what month is it? All right, um, you, yeah, so uh, it starts recording the information. His talking town become, tone becomes a yelling tone, and you can note that your hair is standing up. Your hair, blindfold, is starting to stand up on end. Silver Surfer doesn't have any hair. Although, th your cosmic power is picking up on subtle vibrations in the psyche space, Mark. Okay. Is there Marking. anything I can do to help him uh, calm down so he doesn't have another episode like before? Uh, like, I don't I, know. Is there? I don't know. I would. I would say it seems you know, right now that he's a conduit. Buffer, can you see who is going to attack the senator and focus on it? 
he you see that his yelling which is pretty much nonsensical at this point um it, the feed filters mm -hmm. and you see a phone number and uh and a name and then a phone number and a name and your phone number and a name like 30 times okay but the first 10 are like appear multiple times like they're probably the ringleaders okay um and they you see the names that are attached to the phone numbers <clears throat> optic mm -hmm. jean jean and it's j-e-a-n j-e-a-n mm -hmm. yep odysseus okay tardigrade Okay. Calatrax. Got it. Alice. Okay. Dirt Nap. No. Okay. Wart. Okay. Trash Can. Okay. And Lan, like L A N. Uh, uh, in caps. Okay. Um, you don't, there are no, however, no pictures of them. That's fine. Um, Buffer, don't, don't focus on what will happen. Just focus on calming down and come back. You've done great. You've helped. You're doing a good job. Usa. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, that's not working. The the yelling becomes more of like a painful child screaming. Can I try healing him? Maybe to... I don't know that that's going to work. I just don't... I'm... As you are scanning his health, he seems perfectly healthy. Okay. He's in pain, but... You have a feeling it's it's more like a nervous system pain, because he has so much information running over his nervous system. Oh, uh, blindfold. What are those things that people? I'm shouting. Blindfold. What are those things that the people watch all day on the internet? You were telling. Uh, no, you were telling yeah. me about vines. Yes. No, no, with the what do you call those things? Cats. Macros? <laughs> Memes? Uh, My child is confused. I, I like Chat to think, memes. I like to think that Serge, every once in a while, shows up, says something, and then leaves. Shows up, says something, <laughs> yes. and leaves. That is, that is correct. <laughs> you mean memes? Buffer, what's the most popular cat meme? Angry cat. Grumpy cat? Hover? I, I don't... I don't know. What? The Sphinx? <laughs> it is having no effect. God damn it. Uh, Blindfold is so confused. Like, Blindfold... Like, Blindfold doesn't see the internet. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Are you guys seeing the comms? Yes. Yes. All and right. by the way, in the background of comms, you can barely make out what Surfer's saying because of the the screaming in the background. And Cadence is just royally confused and shaking his head about what is going on. Blindfold, Seriously. is there yeah, anything you can do to stabilize him psychically so he doesn't discharge like before? Exactly. To calm out the noise, though, I'm going to say Alexa. Please play Africa by Toto. <laughs> Alexa, stop. Yeah, we don't want the copyright strike, thanks. No, hold on. Did 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 uh, Justin just say that and it go off on somebody else's? Yep. Yes. Nice. That's awesome. 
<laughs> all right. Uh, Alexa, turn off all lights. Sorry, I didn't find it. Okay, no more. <laughs> no more. Um, it, I, you were being asked a question, Blindfold. What was the question again? I got distracted by people trying to mess with my big sister. <laughs> Is there anything you can do to help him psychically stable? Stabilize because he's. We don't want him to discharge, but I, ho- I'm hoping he can get a hold of it. Nyan cat. Um. Well, I have one idea, but it's a long shot. No, long shot's but, not here. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> I was waiting for it. What's your What's your idea? Um. When they say that, like, okay, how how out of it and about to explode is uh, is Buffer at this point? He's getting pretty close. You're pretty sure. I'm going to slug him in the head. <laughs> These three Taco Bell burritos. And do, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I enter the room, and I, I touch... Um... But you're not there. I said I enter the room. Okay, I said I was on my way. You're all the way at the danger room. This is happening immediately. Oh. Otherwise, I would have just said, well, they should wait for Aeon to come over and handle it. I'm okay. John, who's trying to not traumatize the kid, is going to punch him out. Yes. I mean, <laughs> yeah. there is no, a no. time. Yeah, go, point. John. I'm not going to release any of this pent-up psychic energy. By, I like, didn't rip all his uh, barriers. Oh, in the okay, who? Which of us is more knowledgeable about psychic powers? It's the one with psychic powers. When they're building them up, if you knock them out, they go fizz. So, give me a, give you know me an attack. Only in the movies, right? Give me an attack roll. This is a movie. This is real life. <laughs> Not okay, how is, do I do an attack? This is just I'm fantasy. Oh, okay, unarmed. It's plus four. Yeah. Not high. <laughs> he dodges. <laughs> I no, think I, he's, he's, he, he, you didn't have to roll very high. You hit him. Um, and there's a sharp... I don't know, squeal of pain or whatever, and then it, it drops out. Everything drops out. Um, and the computer screens freeze on the last things that were being transmitted. And I'm there. Thumbs up. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Blindfold's like, I got hit again. <laughs> Blindfold's like, I'm just... So sorry, uh, and, and is like, like checking his head. Like, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Just sleep. Shh, shh, shh. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. So uh, you might want to lay low for a while. Drop type services. Probably be looking for you. Just saying. Yeah, uh, I mean, blindfold punch the kid. I'm not his daddy. Yes. Yeah, oh, so now the cops are after you for assaulting a child. Well, they're in sanctuary. He couldn't see what he was doing. It's fine. I don't think that's how that works. Pretty sure it'll work. See, He's I'm blind. Sorry. Blind guys can't be criminals. <laughs> you don't understand. The French came in and just knocked this kid out. Uh, and then I will. <laughs> I will. I will say uh, danger room transmit. Transmit the repeating sequence of phone numbers and names to Sir- to Shuri. Queen okay. Shuri of Wakanda. And they, they, it acknowledges. Um, well, it's in the authorities' hands now. We should be fine. <laughs> Good game, everybody. Good job. Good job, everyone. We've done our part for today. <laughs> I mean, not wrong. 
Not not what I expected, but not wrong. <laughs> Daniel's like, God damn me, people. <laughs> this is this is my page for this mm-hmm. adventure. Mm-hmm. We've made it through a, a paragraph. <laughs> but, <laughs> so uh, I came in and think we made it through two paragraphs. <laughs> it was you saying, Nick? Oh, I come in the room and see that he's unconscious. What would you do? He's not unconscious. The kid? Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, he is. Oh, he knocked him out. Yeah. No, he didn't, like, knock him out, but he interrupted whatever was going on, which no- which knocked oh, him out. I didn't hear that part. I'm sorry. I thought yeah. he just stopped. He, there was, like, a loud scream, and everything stopped, and he dropped to the floor. Oh, well, then I'll pick him up, and I'll put him on the board. Okay. So so that way when he wakes up he'll be like Shh. <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll still be just sleeping. You'll be fine. Get it back. Just <laughs> yeah, um you, you it seems that the same thing that happened to everybody else happened to him. So you just wait a little bit and restart him. <laughs> so you gotta turn him off and then back on again. <laughs> yeah. I mean it resets him. I mean, it's, it's fine. Resets him. It's fine. Did, did it help? He asks, waking up and rubbing the side of his face. I give him a, I give him a thumbs up. He did great. Like yeah, yeah, I think it did. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Whatever you did, it worked. I didn't want to hurt anyone else. You didn't. Uh, I, I know. It's okay. You did good. You did great, kid. Don't get cocky. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, so you guys have a full listing of the information that was going through his, uh, his router, essentially. Um, you sent over the information with the phone numbers to Shuri, um, actions. Uh, do we want to forward this information to the Secret Service? Because it's not going to this, to this congressman, but he would have a Secret Service detail... And that would be the <clears throat> right thing to do, because they're the ones that would, you know, need to know about the threat. Who, who do you Rather, think that, Shuri it comes is? From a source. Uh, who do you hey think Shuri, is? forward those phone numbers to the Secret Service. That's what she's doing. So it's not coming from us. Yeah, we already did that. Oh, um, well, yeah, welcome that's... to the game, guys. All right. Right. <laughs> and I'm back apparently. <laughs> Although I've been here the whole time. Yeah. I'm sorry, Daniel. You're fine. So what do you guys what do you guys want to do? I'd like to go to paragraph three of today's adventure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Too late. Well, no, no action. Now, at this point, I'm trying to check the infirmary. The perimeter is all secure. Is there anyone else that needs healing? Yes, there are people in the infirmary that need healing. Well, why don't we... Uh, I asked Buffer, would you like to rest in the infirmary while I, while I, we all help some of the other folks that are down there? He nods. Then I will glide him on the board down to the infirmary, and we will heal all the folks in the infirmary. All right. I mean, I can carry him and slowly drain his life essence as I go. Wow. Wow. He's just really tired. What were you saying, Serge? But you don't understand. He wants his life energy more. Um, I want. I go and help those in the infirmary that uh, need it or need more medical attention than you get here and take them to uh, public services in town. Okay. If there are some that can't be. Is there a place in town that handles, you know, mutants? Well, I mean, not everybody looks like a mutant. A lot of them do, but a lot of them, there's a, there's a significant portion that don't. Those can go out to the main hospitals. They're not registered, remember? How do you think we get our food, Uber Eats? Mm-hmm. It comes in the mail. 
Duh. You think you know those prepackaged, ready to cook meals? Wait, so they were they they're meals that used to be fully prepared food but they have now been dehydrated? Does that make them X meals? Hey No, I think that's what you flush. Red man, did you really have to Okay, hey, we're moving on. <laughs> on that note. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, you pass the information to Shuri, um, it doesn't sound like anybody's doing anything here, except for making sure everybody's safe, um, and, uh, doing security, um, was there anything else? Uh, is there any, I, I, I tell the team, I do not uh sense Xavier within 18,000 miles of here so wherever he's been taken is quite far away maybe it was the uh the inhumans we had a run in with like that dog thing right But we, you didn't see a dog in, in the description of what you said happened in Cerebro. Unless it's one that looks like a wheelchair, no. <laughs> I, I don't remember there being any like burn marks when the dog left. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, was um, there a guy with a ringing bell on his chair instead? No. Does Forge exist in this continuity world? Not yet. No. Ah. Um. Well. What about Cable? Not yet. <laughs> no, there's no Jean Grey yet, so no Cable. No Cyclops yet, so no Cable. Um, well, Cable hasn't been named yet. Storm? Uh, yes, Storm is here, yes. Storm so is one of the teachers. It, it is Major X in existence. I'm not even sure who that is. That is the alternate future version of cable where cyclops and the oh, storm yeah nate up. nate gray yeah no 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 this, well yeah i mean yes he is a nate gray but not that nate gray he's not x-man nate gray he is major x nate gray sorry no mark he's not That's not confusing <laughs> at all uh, welcome to the <laughs> x-men 101 he, he's an alternate future Time traveled inverted version of no. We can just basically assume at this point the answer is no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Does magic exist? Yes. It's the MCU. It was inside of you the whole time. Oh, no! you mean no, magic. magic. The, the character. Magic, the character. Yeah. Uh, magic, the character does exist, but you got... Because Colossus exists, but she's not here at the mansion. Okay. Uh, she's off doing something else, probably gathering something or other. <laughs> it, it does... Hmm. Are we just going over a list of all the characters you can think of, Mark? No. I'm actually trying to figure out who could help us track down where Xavier's gone. And I was going one at a time down the list in my head of who could do that. And you've ixnayed all of them. So I'm trying to figure out something else. <laughs> so, uh, do we have anyone here that's a hacker or can do like computer stuff that's not um, Sir or um, the kid? 
Maybe he can look at the information on the on this list of people. Maybe we can help intercept. Sage you know, is real, right? Lying yeah, to the, the senator or Kyle Sa- Sage is real, but she's not here. Oh. Is the Mutant Liberation Underground a thing in this version? Are we tying in like she's, that TV show so or no? We are not tying into Gifted, no. Uh, okay. Well, never mind then. Yeah. Um, to answer your question, Nick, you guys have all of the information. It was sent to... A copy of it was sent to um, Shuri, but you guys still have a copy of it. No, I know I got gotcha, you, but uh, you know my character is not like a tech file, so like I got names and, and phone numbers, but you know I don't know how to actually get their addresses and actually start you know trying to track them down without them knowing that. Yeah, I don't know if any of this group has computers actually. I do. I'm joking. I do not. I have jack of all trades skill. <laughs> it's really great, but only for trade skills. That's right. Like trade. Hell, I don't even have smart I've got a, I've got a razor flip. Surge has technology. Hey, Surge. Can you find any information on this list of people with their names and numbers and social security numbers? And date of birth. And- I, I'm way off. Um, I did some Googling, and that, this is what I came up with. <laughs> None of those names show up. <laughs> it says Google. here they all have network connectivity issues. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can tell that they're obviously code names much the same as yours. Which would lead some of the smarter of you to think that maybe, just maybe, there are mutants. Oh, I'm assuming some of you are diving into the information. Yeah, I, I figured it out. Do, you were me a point that I didn't think about. Apparently, no. no one has been talking about that, but um, it looks like the group, because it's in the information that nobody's been checking through. Um, the group calls themselves the Morlocks. Not the Morlocks. And they are... I, I thought it was funny because somebody mentioned Time Machine earlier. Um, it looks like they are going to... Um, they're setting up an attack against the Sentinel Headquarters building in Philadelphia. And um, it looks like Buffer was able to pull this together from encrypted files and plans sent across burner phones and um, drop out email addresses. Just to clarify, so we want to stop this? Question mark. I don't want to stop this, but Xavier would want us to. And then dead space. Xavier wants right. to, and All then right. nobody says anything. Weird. Well, I I'm don't want to not up receiving someone who wants us dead. I, I don't understand. Why would we do this when we've already alerted the authorities? Didn't Xavier want us to? Maintain and safeguard the grounds. I say, the humans were warned. The security is on them now. Our job is to protect our own kind. The Sentinels are bad, okay? Hmm. I have a moral dilemma now. And I think that's where we're going to end for tonight. (laughs) 
So, you guys think about it. Think about any reasons that you would or would not want to help, and we'll take it from there. Um, thanks for playing, guys. There's been a lot of dead space and dead time, but um, I'm hoping to be able to do this more often. Um, maybe even get Anthony in for a couple of these in the future. That'd be awesome. But he's in the middle of a move, so we'll see. Uh, do you guys have any questions before we end up or end out? How much of a bad person is blindfold for <laughs> taking that solution? To, to be honest, that was one of the first solutions I've written on my paper. <laughs> was punching the kid out. I didn't think it was going to be you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when there are any other better solutions, that is the kind of one that I or blindfold would take. That is just an accepted thing about... And, and Nick, and psychics. Exactly. When, when well, the I, brain I, is going haywire, you either calm them down, or if they can't be calmed down, you whack them and knock them out. Or and, and, you do and, baby Thanos. And, and, and Hit the Nick, cranial and, reset and, button. Nick, before you said you would have done the exact same thing, no, you would have vampire leached him to death. We know the difference. <laughs> oh, no. I never said I would actually hit him. <laughs> we all know I would have just leached him into his right. own because that's a boom boom that's a win win right there fell unconscious he forever well, isn't that, no it doesn't kill him it just puts him no in a permanent in a coma just a little one a baby coma he's not dead yet you know, like, like when he sleeps naturally well on that note uh, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, if you'd like to support us, you can do, do so by clicking the subscribe button on Twitch, or you can head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash gamersledge, where for just as little as a dollar a month, you can get your name on every single show that we do, just like all these fine folks coming up have. Um, for Nick, for John, for Ray, for uh, Justin, Daniel, and myself, thanks for watching, and until next time, game on! Game on. Game on.